Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I've got a whopper for you. A sovereign citizen from Florida who uh, was pulled over for expired tags, and he has everything that you can want out of a sovereign citizen. Fee schedules, refusal to identify, and all that other good stuff, including a bonus word that he uses over and over again. And trust me whenever I say this, you'll be sick so sick and tired of that particular word by the end of the video. It'll have lost all meaning, and especially since it's a word that's supposed to have a great deal of meaning, especially to those who, well are in the military. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the hilarity of this particular sovereign citizen. Oh yeah, and by the way, this video comes to us courtesy of Crime Scene Cam, so head on over to their channel to give them a watch. The link will be in the description box below. I'm not a driver. Okay, well, you are driving on the roadways in the state of Florida, so I need your driver's license or your identification. Like I said, I'm not driving. Okay, well, I am conducting a lawful stop. You are required to present me your identification, so I'll take whatever identification you have. Okay, I, I don't carry identification unless someone's going to pay me for my name. My name is registered as my property on the record. Okay. Well, first of all, not carrying your any form of ID in the state of Florida is not exactly the wisest of ideas because you could end up in a situation like this where you're being pulled over and you are required to present your driver's license at a traffic stop in the state of Florida. So, dude, you done messed up. They don't play around here in Florida, dude. And as far as paying for your name... Stupid or something. So, so what's your name? Okay. Uh, I'm just recording this for the record. I'm not driving or operating a vehicle for hire on the roadways. And my name is my private property. And if you want my name, I'm conditionally accepting your offer so I can stay in honor so you would arrest me. So my conditional acceptance for my name to you is you need to give me $500 for use of my name. Oh my goodness. $500 for the use of his name, there can't be any more than that. I mean, that's just got to be it, right? Right? But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, because this one's a screamer. Nickel 13, Malcolm 1094, please. Sir, you will be arrested if you do not present some type of identification. Really? Excuse me? I said really? Yes, sir, really. Why do I need to provide identification? You are operating a road, a vehicle on the roadways in the I'm state of Florida. Operating. Sir, with all due respect. If you're behind the wheel of that vehicle, then you most certainly are operating it. I mean, you're manipulating all the controls and everything like that. So you are most certainly operating this machine. You're behind the driver's, in the driver's seat, behind the driving. steering wheel. I'm I've been behind. And this is in the driver's seat. Now, if you want to try and prove in court that I'm driving or operating a vehicle for hire, then fine, but I'm stating for the record that I'm not driving or operating a vehicle. Sir, I've been behind you since you were on Babcock, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. You've been in that seat the no entire how time. No matter you your script from your fraternal order of police, I'm telling you on the record I'm not driving or operating. That's, that's official. I'm okay. on the record. And if you want my name, it's $500 cash. Okay, go ahead. Funny how you should mention the officer's script right about now, because your script is about to go way off course, and you're going to use that certain word that you've already used once or twice already over and over again. It's going to be repeated ad nauseum from this point on. So it's going to lose all meaning from here on out. So just tune it out, everybody. Just make sure that it doesn't drive you crazy when you hear that word repeated. Ad nauseum. Step out of the vehicle for me. Sir, I can step out of the vehicle. You can for step five. out of the vehicle for I'll me. Step out of the vehicle for five hundred dollars. Step out of the vehicle. Roll over on your stomach. Okay, sir. At this time, you are being placed under arrest. 
You will be registered as a John Doe until you are properly identified. But I already said I'm not driving or operating. Okay, well, yes, sir, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not driving or operating a vehicle. Ma'am, do you have a valid driver's license? I do. May I see it, please? Thank you. Can I speak to a supervisor? Because I'm still in honor, and you're arresting me, and I'm being fully transparent that I'm not a driver or operator. And if you want my name, I'm conditionally accepting my name. I also have a request for a supervisor. Yeah, I've conditionally accepted your offer so I can stay in honor. I'm operating okay. on the honor system. And you're not honoring, now you're in dishonor, and I will prove on the record in court that my name is my property. I've registered it with the county recorder more than two years ago. So I hope you're still recording because I have my case number, my filing number, and my, Echo 13 to my name is my personal over here, property. Please? And I was not pulling over. I'm coming here to the printer because they have a print order for me I'm picking up, so I did not pull over. I need to get him into a car. Well, I try to get him Stand right up, man. I can't. Roll to your side. Me and these are. Wait, wait, wait. You're hurting me. Roll to your side. Yeah, I know, but these cop cops okay. are on two sides. I'll help you up. You're hurting me. All right. My phone is still recording. Yes, sir. We'll make sure you have your phone. But I want that on the record. Okay. Well, here. Here. As a matter of fact, you can continue recording. I'll stick it in your pocket. I already conditionally accepted all of his offers for my okay. schedule, and he's in Anything on your person before you go back in my car? This will be his right here. And it's still recording. I'll answer any questions for $100 per question. question for cash Anything. Wow. $100 per question. That's rather cheap coming from you softards. I mean, normally something like a question is worth about 10,000 gold pieces or something like that which reminds me why don't you just go ahead and answer the questions and you can just put that money on my tab i mean I'll, i'm good for it i mean you'll i'm sure you'll get it someday i will answer that car. question for a hundred dollars you don't have the right you can search me for five hundred dollars cash i'm conditionally sure. accepting all of your offers for my fee schedule there's no charge for and that and you can yeah there is i i'm in honor okay okay ma'am could you fill me on what's going on here? I, I don't know. I, I don't understand his, his thing. Okay. I don't understand that. He's, I, I don't know. Okay. How do you know him? He's my boyfriend. Okay. I don't understand all that mumbo jumbo stuff he talks, though. Are you trained on this at the Fraternal Order of Police? I'm an expert on honor, and okay. I'm in honor. Okay. What's his name? Ronald. Ronald what? Is this his vehicle? From what I yeah, I mean, I think his mom is still on Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, come to find out later on, it's entirely his mother's car. There's no co-ownership or anything like that. His mother fully owns it. Man, oh man, I hate to be the one that tells his mother that they got the car towed because they wanted to be a dumbass. I mean, that's going to be an interesting conversation. Thank you. My name is my property. Anything with your person had to come... You can search me for $500. I'm going to need your name because I'm going to charge you. This is that's the best one I I did not give you permission to search me without payment. You're violating my rights and my ability to conduct commerce. You're violating. You're in dishonor. Wait a second. I thought you said you weren't driving in commerce. I mean, I think your sovereign citizen script is starting to unravel at this point because, well, you just got majorly caught with your pants down, so to speak. And, uh, well, I'm sure your girlfriend over there is going to be thinking twice about dating you after this. You can search me for $100, spread sir. Your feet. I'll spread my feet for $100. Spread your feet. No, you're, you're in dishonor. You know you're violating the rules of honor, and I have done nothing wrong, and I've accepted all of your conditionally accept all of your offers for my free schedule. Are you recording? Yep, everything is recording. You're violating my rights. I have done nothing wrong. I'm, I'm in honor, and okay. you're violating all my rights. I'm in honor, and you're okay, violating sorry. all my rights. The time has come to reclaim my honor. You dishonorably dishonored me with my honorably honoring, my honorable honor. Okay, I have no idea what you just said right now. I will come over there for a little bit. Let's go. You're violent, man. You're assaulting Because you're battery. resisting. Stop no, I'm resisting. Not, I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting if I'm conditionally accepting all, all of your right, offers get, get for my car. fee schedule. You get, know get, I'm sir, telling the truth. The you're going well, into this. Get in the car. I'll get in the car for $500. In the car. No, you're forcing me. I'll get in the car. I already conditionally accepted your offer for money. 
Get in the car. Dude, get in the car. You're assaulting and battering me, uh, and you're violating my rights. Get in the car. I conditionally accept your knee. offer Watch for my fee schedule. Watch your knee. No, dude, you can't put me in jail. No. You can't do car. this. You guys are going into discipline. And that's where I'll just leave it from this point on because there's just uh, only a few more words and they're all about honor. And that's really about it that these guys say. As far as the girlfriend goes, she ends up calling her sister because, well, they're going to have to have the car towed. They were unable to get a hold of the dude's mother because, well, she was quite possibly asleep. So they had to tow the car. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.